my channel so this video is all about strobing oh my god this is the new trend going around like if you're on Instagram everybody's just talking about strobing and oh my god guys let me just tell you strobing is basically highlighting there is nothing new about strobing as you all will see in this video is basically highlighting those areas of on your face you want to catch light you know when the light hits you as you guys can see you know like above my cheekbones above my brows my brow my inner tear dots if you want to highlight your chin you know your nose your cupid go like there is nothing new about about strobing guys it's simply highlighting your face to an extreme and also it also includes like highlighting without a contour and as you all can see there is no contour i didn't contour my face i only just highlighted i decided to bring this video to you guys especially with people with acne dark spots hyperpigmentation oily skin yes guys we can all strobe strobe there's nothing new about strobing you guys like it's just basically highlighting your face and as you guys can see strobing i'm kind of loving the look because it gives the skin that very nice healthy glow and that is it guys if you guys want to see how i strobe to achieve this look definitely continue to watch guys and i will see you all in my next video so I've tried this strobing technique several times and I find out that using a mattifying primer on the areas where you produce oil the most, you know, works better, especially when you have dark spots, hyperpigmentation, like oily skin most especially, because although you are strobing, you don't want to look like a grease ball. Since strobing is an intense highlight without a contour, I will be going in with a foundation and in order to get that dewy skin, we will be mixing our foundation with a liquid illuminator or a liquid highlight and I'll be mixing my foundation and my Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in two pairs. I used to have a bigger version of this highlight but I decided to take it back and get the smaller one because come to think of it I don't really need the huge bottle so I decided to get the small one and so many people you can either use this this highlight alone just you know apply it all over your face or you can mix it with your foundation and I will just focus it on the areas where I didn't apply the primer and the essence of using a uh, liquid highlight first, either using it alone or mixing it with your foundation is just to give your skin that healthy glow. For the foundation, we will just apply it as we normally would, just distribute it all over the face. And another thing is when strobing, there is no contour when you're strobing, the best thing is to use a foundation that is a little bit darker than your skin tone as you guys can see. So by the time you highlight, you know, everything will blend and it will seem as if you contour. So the next thing is to use my concealer under my eye and just basically the same way we normally highlight so you just use it like under your eye the bridge of your nose your chin and your forehead to set I will use Sasha buttercup setting powder then to set the whole face I will use my matte neuralized skin finish and this is just I'll just use it on the areas where I didn't highlight. I know some people don't use powder like when they are strobing, but for us, you know, when you have oily skin, you just have to set it. If not, you will look all oily. And then after that, I'll apply my blush. Since we're not going to contour, the next thing is to apply, you know, your favorite blush. And I'm using MAC Pinch Me Blush. So as you all can see, my whole face is a little bit matte. So to remove any powdery look and you know, to give me that dewy look, I'll have to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. Okay, so we just passed the first stage of strobing. As you all can see, we've already prepped the face, applied our foundation, the blush, and you know, the highlight. So the main thing when we talk about strobing is intense highlight. That is basically it. There's no new thing about strobing it's just i would say they just you know reformed the name of from highlights to strobing and basically you know when you strobe you just want to hit those areas where like when the the the, the light flashes on you you know the areas you want to catch the light when strobing you will need a uh, cream highlights as you guys can see i have my mac cream color base in hush this is very very ideal because it doesn't have that sparkly look it has just a sheen as you all can see like this is my best cream highlight so after that the next step will be to set those areas where we we'll applied the cream highlight and for that I'll be using my Becca 
shimmering skin perfector in opal like i'm so in love with this product because a little bit goes a long way and it's somewhat like a gold champagne color i can't really explain yeah. it also apply it um on my brow bone and then i'll go in with a smaller brush just to apply it on my cupid's bow also on the tip of my nose and then we'll also highlight our inner tear dot and then to complete the look i'll line my lips with nyx lip liner in brown and i'll go in with mac angel lipstick and this is a very nice nude pink lipstick then to gloss up the lips i'll be using this sleek glossed clear lip gloss and here you have it guys as you guys can see my face looks as though i have probably like 100 watts of light on my face as you all can see and that is basically what strobing is like when i heard about the trend i was like oh my god this is just basically highlighting like highlighting your face without a contour as you guys can see it gives that very nice healthy glow and that is it guys as you can see there is nothing new about strobing it's just highlight highlight i hope you all enjoyed this video and of course don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed until next time i'll see you all in my next video yes guys as you can see i'm strobing mm -mm -mm.